Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Jeremy Friesen. Use he, him pronouns. I work at Software Services by Scientist.com. I'm a senior lead engineer there. I'm also on the Sam Vera board, and I'm really glad to be here again. So a uh, quick overview. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to talk go through the problem statement, a little bit of history, a little bit about the rodeo, and then some wrap up. Problem statement, given that I have a million billion objects, when I ingest those objects, then things are really slow. Also, given those million billion objects, and I already have a mixture of derivatives, sometimes I want to use those derivatives. Here's a little bit of history. I'll walk through the derivatives, Hydra derivatives, Hyrax derivative service, newspaper works, triple IF print, and the derivative rodeo. The Hydra derivatives is a venerable and long used gem for generating derivatives uh, for the San Vera community. We got a little slide mix up here. It's very configurable and extensible and has been used for quite some time. Uh, the Hyrax derivative service implements an interface for generating derivatives for a file set. This is a point of configuration that has been implemented since I believe at least Hyrax 2. So most folks that we're working with are on this uh, state. What it allows for is this idea of plug-in services that you can say, which one, find me a valid one. And then when I find my first one, use that valid, use that one to create derivatives which is where the Hyrax file set derivatives service class comes into play. It leverages Hydra derivatives and by default is the one and only registered service. It is the longstanding approach for the derivatives. Um, basically what it does is for each original file, it creates the, deriv the derivatives of that original file based on its MIME type. Uh, the newspaper works gem was created by the Boston Public Library and the University of Utah, and it introduced quite a few concepts, uh, models for title issue page and article of newspapers, batch ingest, OCR, uh, the list goes on and on. Um, and it had quite a few, it had quite a few interesting and new approaches. First, it created a new derivative service and registered that in Hyrax, which replaced the or supplemented the file set derivative service. <clears throat> For Newman Numismatic Portal, NNP, we leveraged the newspaper works gem at SoftServe and made a few modifications and omissions. Fundamentally, we wanted to rip these PDFs apart that we had and make one image per page, run OCR on those images, and then Im image, uh, then index the image text as part of the parent PDF. All of this was in service of creating a better IIIF viewer experience for PDFs. The default PDF experience may not be desired, and what we found is having one image per page makes a much richer experience um, that aligns better with a lot of the universal viewer uh, experience. <clears throat> Enter the woefully incorrect named uh, gem IIIF print. This was something we extracted from NNP, Newman Numismatic Portal, and other Haiku installations that we were working on are now using this. So this is a subset of newspaper works where we split a PDF, we uh, implement searching and adjust the IIIF manifest, do some auto assignment of parent-child relationships and extract some text. Um, it does some of this by again, creating that um, derivative service and then configuring it in Hyrax. Enter the rodeo. Finally, the thing we're here to talk about. <clears throat> this is a further decomposition of the IIIF print gem. In the future, the IIIF print will depend on the rodeo and be renamed to something rodeo adjacent, as well as provide the parent-child relationship management and search indexing behavior. That's what IIIF print will provide. Still not in the rodeo, I guess. But why make more gems? <clears throat> First, we want to split, uh, we want to do the PDF splitting and text extraction in a distributed environment like AWS Lambdas. We found that we can parallelize a lot of those things and get a like rapid 
processing, several hours to do a whole corpus of a repository. We also realize, hey, given that we're generating some of the derivatives in AWS Lambda, why don't we generate other ones in there? <clears throat> Further, we also want to have our Lambda functions use the same code as our monolith, the Hyrax application or other Rails applications. Here's a little diagram <clears throat> kind of highlighting what's going on in the Rodeo. The sources at the top are the disparate places where we might find the original files or the um, derivatives that we want to pre-process. So we gather them up, we kind of sort them, into these different categories, and then we import them and we shuffle the appropriate image, hawker, and text file to a file set one and file set two. Um, so the pre process is that lambda space, and the import is the Hyrax space. <clears throat> the, uh, and that's basically what I just said. Um, the derivative rodeo knows how to find or create these requisite derivatives. The fundamental process involved is check, do I have something here? If not, fetch from somewhere there and put it here. And if none of that happens, generate it here. And here depends on where things are running. So to wrap up, the existing Hyrax implementation does not handle the case where we already have some or all of the desired derivatives. And if you're looking to rip apart PDFs, the processing within Hyrax is slow. <clears throat> Where can we find the derivative rodeo? <clears throat> uh, SoftServe, we're iterating on these concepts. They are in production and stable, but not yet factored towards multiple use cases. And I provide the links here um, for derivative rodeo and derivative rodeo. Now for a little sidebar, why the two names? Uh, this is a little insight into SoftServe. Um, Rob and I have been playing this game of tennis. Uh, we both are writing up the code and then we respond to it. And we need to do a lot of this asynchronously in part because Rob's uh, has a particularly challenging calendar constraints. So our synchronous conversations, we include another developer to help make sure that we're creating the most accessible code. And the Dash Rodeo was one exploration through extraction, naming, and working through the process flow. The Underscore Rodeo is a further distillation and simplification of the Dash Rodeo. Ultimately, in our conversations, we pulled up the Name Your Gem, and the Underscore is more idiomatic. So we're settling on Derivative Rodeo. And please talk to Rob about those naming conventions. He was there when they were established. What's next? This is all a work in progress, some of it running in production across different haikus. And our plan, as I mentioned, was to get these a little more stabilized, then move them into labs and hopefully have other people working on them as well. If this is something you want to work on, and see a need, please hop into the derivative underscore rodeo in our uh, scientist dash soft serve repository. So again, thank you. Um, I will be wrangling up some of this in the future uh, for a blog post and also we'll have the video. Um, I'll take any questions at this time.